What's up YouTube, Just Gav here, bringing you guys a brand new video up onto the channel. This video is going to be talking about should specialists be in the next Battlefield game. Now, we're kind of doing this video in the same vein as we did the, the should the plus system be in the next Battlefield game because they're pretty big and sweeping gameplay changes uh, when it comes to Battlefield and what we're kind of used to, what we got in the past, what we have right now, and what we're going to get. In the future, and I really enjoyed you guys' feedback from the Plus System uh, video. Some of you enjoy it, some of you don't. That's kind of what I expected, because there's some positive and there's some negatives. But recently, <laughs> let's get something out of the way really quickly. A senior producer named Ryan MacArthur came out and said, The problem with specialists is a lot of our issues came from the fact that players didn't understand how the specialists were supposed to work. Now, I never made a video regarding this, because this happened near the beginning of the, <laughs> of the month. Um, and a lot of people, everybody made videos about it and tweeted about it and all that stuff. And I thought it was just the most ridiculous thing. That's a direct quote, by the way. The most ridiculous thing somebody could have said at EA or DICE. Like, I don't understand how Casper's drone work. Or I don't, anyways, this, this is about the future. This is about the future. <laughs> but should they be in the next Battlefield game? Now, are we talking pre-class system or are we talking post-class system? I'm going to go post-class system because pre-class system, yikes. Post-class system, not as much of a yikes, but still yikes in some aspects. Now, for me personally, I don't mind the specialist system. I did, I, I did think it was kind of weird pre-class system. Post-class system, it's still pretty good. One change I would make, though, is giving uh, the spawn beacon to the assault class, more specific, specifically Sundance and McKay. That's my own personal bias. But for the future, for the next Battlefield game, should they be in it? I'm going to go off... On a, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off on a ledge here and say no, <laughs> just for the fact that the backlash they got for them being in this game should be enough to warrant not putting them in the next or the next or the next or the next. But if you guys didn't know, 2042 was supposed to be kind of a jumping off point for a full on Battlefield universe, multiple games connecting. We're getting characters. We're getting. You know, campaign and stuff is going to, you know, it was supposed to be the jumping off point for that. And the specialists were most likely going to be a thing moving forward. Um, <laughs> I'm sure they have scrapped that idea and have gone in a different direction considering all the people they've let go. And all the people that they have hired in new studios. You got Marcus Leto in Seattle. You got Dice LA, now Ripple Effect doing their own thing. They brought on Vince Zeppella to head, is the head of Battlefield now, who's over at, obviously, Respawn, who's the head of Titanfall, you know, slash Apex, same universe, but, you know. And so with these big sweeping changes, I would assume specialists for the next game would be the first thing on the chopping block. Maybe not. Maybe that's not their priority or something they really care about, but to me, I don't think they should be in the next game. Do you guys think they should be in the next game? Should they just be skins, kind of like in the same vein that Call of Duty has done? Like, okay, we play Falk. This is Falk. She's her character. She has her own personality. But you can wear the Falk skin as a recon, and maybe she has, like, her own recon-type skin. You can wear the Falk skin as a medic, and she has her own medic-type skin. You can play her as an assault, but she's just a character that you can play each class with if you want to pick her cosmetically, you know, with skins and stuff like that. Or do you just chop that down completely and just go back to generic soldiers that I can put a blue camo on or red camo on uh what whatever 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 the cosmetic root you know kind of things would be or do you want to keep it to where they do have their own gadgets they have their own passive they have their own active they have their own um but you know kind of abilities but they are put into a class system in the same way they are in 2042 I don't know I don't know I think there's pros and cons probably not that many pros a lot more cons uh because you have super powerful characters such as Zane who I've talked about multiple times, having an airburst, you can get a... Let's use the SFAR, for example. You have three different type of grenade launcher types. You can have the, you know, the AP, the HE, smoke, all that, all that. And then you can have an SPH launcher on top of that. So this dude is just an explosives expert. And if you have five or ten of those guys running around on, on the same team, especially in a game out like Breakthrough, it completely just destroys... Just, it's, it's bad. And you go, oh, what about Irish? Well... He recently received a nerf, rightfully so, by the way. And so he's not exactly the deterrent he used to be. Um, which, again, goes into balancing issues that come from the specialist. I'm kind of all over the place in this video. I'm not going to not gonna lie to you. But the balancing issues that come from the specialist alone are reason enough for them not to be in the, in the next game. 
in my opinion. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section. It's not going to be a very long video. I just wanted to get kind of some stuff and ask the question and, and comment on, on the we don't know how to how the specialists work or that is that, that is just the craziest <laughs> Ryan no offense my brother but you are tone deaf if tone deaf if we looked up tone deaf in the in the dictionary or an almanac or a whatever whatever <laughs> your face would be right there senior producer at dice wherever right there that is such a <laughs> anyways tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section like comment subscribe Church friends, it's been just Gav, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scouts. See, oh, join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch and Kick. Uh, turn on notifications. Do all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok. Uh, 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 I'm gonna leave now. Bye. <laughs>